Welcome back everybody. Today in this video we will talk about surface area of prisms. In our next video we will talk about cylinders. So first some things about prisms. One, a prism is a polyhedron with two congruent polygons called bases that lie in parallel planes. So I'll show you a few examples of prisms. So here is one. It's got rectangles all around. This is a rectangular prism. Here is a prism with bases that are hexagons. This is a hexagonal prism. Here's one with bases that are triangles. This is a triangular prism. Lateral faces are parallelograms. formed by connecting the corresponding vertices of the bases. Okay, now in this case, these parallelograms that are the lateral faces happen to be all rectangles. But what we have is a base here and a base here, and those are faces. The rest of these faces are called the lateral faces. Lateral edges are segments connecting the corresponding vertices of the bases. Okay, so these line segments that go between bases are called lateral edges. All of the segments are edges. The ones between bases are the lateral edges. The surface area of a prism is the sum of the areas of all the faces. Okay, now those faces include the two bases and the lateral faces. The lateral area of a prism is the sum of the areas of the lateral faces. Okay, so lateral area just means it's the surface area except no bases. A net. Okay, so what I have right here is a net. It is a two-dimensional representation of the faces of a polyhedron. So what it really is is a polyhedron unfolded. So this is a rectangular prism right here unfolded. I've got a base here and a base here, and I think I just said a rectangular prism, but it's a triangular prism, two triangular bases, and if I folded this up, I would have a triangular prism. So that is called a net. A right prism is one on which each lateral edge is perpendicular to both bases. And when we do surface area, we are only going to deal with right prisms. When we get into oblique prisms, some things get a little bit different on us. Oblique prisms, though, we will find volumes of in a later video. An oblique prism is one in which edges are not all perpendicular to the bases. So now let's get into our formula. The surface area of a prism is found by this formula, 2 times capital B plus lowercase ph. Okay, now when you see a capital B in an area formula, in a surface area formula, that means the area of a base. If it's a lowercase b, it means a length of a base. Capital B means area of a base. Now, p, I have capital here. It really doesn't matter if p is capital or not. p is always for perimeter. Okay, now that is the perimeter of a base. So I'll put in parentheses of the base. And h is the height which is the distance between the bases. So right here, I have a rectangular prism. It's a rectangular prism because all of the faces are rectangles. In a rectangular prism, I can actually use any part I want for the base. If I use the bottom as a base, then that means the top is also a base. Those two parallel and congruent figures there are the bases. Okay, so that would be the base. Okay, so then the perimeter would be the distance around that base. And then the height would be the distance between the bases. 
Okay, so we're going to find surface areas of four different prisms. So I have first a rectangular prism. Every face on this is a rectangle. Okay, so I can use top, bottom, left, right, front, or back. I'll use the bottom as my base. Okay, so for the surface area, it's two times the area of the base. Now the area of this base, this is a rectangle, and it is a six by eight rectangle. The area is six times eight. So for capital B, I put in the formula for the area of the base, plus the perimeter of the base. So the perimeter of this base is six plus six plus eight, plus eight, so that's two sixes plus two eights. And then the height is the distance between the two bases, which is four. Now the height does not always have to be up and down. It can be front to back, it can be left to right. It's just the distance between the two bases. So now I will pull out my calculator and just type everything in. So two times six times eight, that's two times the area of the base, plus the perimeter of the base, which was two sixes plus two eights times four, which is the height. And that gives me 208. So the surface area is 208 yards squared. Now on our next prism, not everything on here is a rectangle. So I have to name it by the non-rectangular parts. This is a trapezoidal prism because it has two trapezoids on it. And in this case, whatever is not a rectangle has to be used as the base. So I will have to use a trapezoid as my base. Okay, so the surface area is two times the area of the base. Now the area of a trapezoid is found by doing one half times the height. The height of the trapezoid is from top to bottom of the trapezoid, that is 110, times the sum of the bases of the trapezoid. Okay, so that's lowercase. So let me write the formula here for a trapezoid. The area is half times the height times base one plus base two. Okay, so base one and base two, and those are lowercase bases, so those are lengths of a base. So here's a base of the trapezoid, and here is a base of the trapezoid, and those lengths are 170 plus 110. Okay, so now this is two times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base. So the perimeter of the base is 170 plus 135 plus 110 plus 120. Okay, I've kind of run out of room here, but I still have to multiply by the height of this prism. The height of the prism is the distance between the two bases. So one of the bases is on the front, the other base is the back, and the distance between them is right here. So your height is 120, so times 120. So I'll put that in my calculator. So that's two times half times 110 times 170 plus 110, and I'll close both sets of parentheses, plus the perimeter, which is 170 plus 135 plus 110 plus 120, and I've just put 10 there. I gotta go back and make sure I fix that. So 110 plus 120 times the height, which is 120, and I get 95,000. So the surface area is 95,000 meters squared. Next we have a triangular pyramid. Okay, so for this triangle, what I know is that it is an equilateral triangle. Okay, and I have to count that as my base. So the triangles will be the bases. Okay, so for the area of this triangle, 
triangle area is one half base times height. Okay, so the base is 14. So for my surface area, I have two times the area of the base, which is one half times 14 times the height of this triangle, which is right here, which I currently do not know. Okay, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. So I've got 2 times the area of the base, except that I'm missing the height, plus the perimeter of the base. Now this triangle is 14, 14, 14. I know that because of these tick marks. 14 plus 14 plus 14. That's the perimeter of the base. Times the height of the prism. The height of the prism is the distance between the bases. The triangles are the bases. The distance between them is 12. Okay, but I still need the height of this triangle. So to get the height of the triangle, I could use Pythagorean theorem. Right here I've got a 7. So if I do 7 squared plus the height squared, I'll get the hypotenuse of this triangle right here, which is 14 squared. Okay, so... I will subtract 7 squared from both sides, so I have 14 squared minus 7 squared, and that is 147. So I've got uh, minus 7 squared on both sides, and I have h squared equals 147. Now let's take the square root of 147. And that's about 12.12. .12. So h is 12.12. .12. So the height of this triangle is 12.12. .12, and I'll put that right here. Okay, so now we can type this in our calculator. So we have 2 times half times 14 times 12.12 .12 plus the perimeter, which is 14s all the way around. So I'll just type that in as 3 times 14 times the height of the prism, which is 12, and that is 673.68. So the surface area is 673.68 centimeters squared. And we'll do one last surface area. Here we have a pentagonal prism. Okay, so for a pentagon as with any regular polygon, so I've got tick marks around here, shows me this is a regular polygon. The area is one half times the apothem times the perimeter. Okay, so our surface area is two times the area of a base. Now this is a pentagonal prism, so I have to use the pentagon as the base. So the surface area is 2 times, area of the base is half times apothem times perimeter, so half times, here's the apothem, 4.13 times the perimeter of the base, there are 5 sides, each of them is 6, so I'll say the perimeter is 5 times 6. Plus the perimeter of the base, which again is 5 times 6, times the height, which is the distance between the pentagonal bases, and that is 10. So we have 2 times half times, let me start that over, 2 times half times the apothem, 4.13, times the perimeter, which is 5 times 6, plus the perimeter, which again is 5 times 6, times the height, the distance between the bases, which is 10. So the surface area is 423.9. 423.9 feet squared.